Hey there, Tim here, coach of Men Who Want More, and this message is for my brothers, for the guys out there, the men, and I'm talking to you about you know best. And what brought this topic up? Well, I've got to go all the way back to, I must have been eight or so, and you know best came came from the first time that I felt listening to myself, listening to my intuition, and I walked into a deli that uh, I used to drop into with a couple of mates and grab some chips and gravy on the way back from primary school. I used to love the chips and gravy here in Perth, Western Australia. And I remember not having enough money and I, I paid what I could and luckily we were in there every second day so the lady let me off a few cents short. And then the next day I went back in and I not only got my chips and gravy, but then I grabbed a candy bar and I put it in my pocket and that's called stealing and I shoplifted this candy bar. And like I said, I must have been eight or nine at the time. And I walked out and my heart started racing, that fear response started kicking in, and I knew I'd done the wrong thing. And my intuition was crying out to me, you know best, and what was best wasn't shoplifting that candy bar. Now, I felt sick all the way home, I walked all the way home, and my conscience was just screaming at me like, why would you do that? You know, you even had the money today. You didn't have to ask, could you pay less? You'd already got your chips and gravy, but you wanted more and you weren't able to compensate for that. So you grabbed it and you put it in your pocket. And then I felt so bad that I said to myself at the time, I'm never gonna do this again. I'm never gonna have this feeling again of doing something so wrong. And it was a candy bar and I ate the candy bar on the way home and then I just thought, no way. Cannot do this anymore. So from that day forth, I'm proud to say that I've never shoplifted and it's not something that I, I, I have or will do regularly because it's the wrong thing to do. And I know you know this. And this little funny story, hopefully you can relate to in your life and think, well, where have you done the wrong thing? Where has your gut or your intuition been telling you one thing and you do the opposite thing? And guess what? It turns out to be the wrong thing because you do know best. Now, believe it when I say, there is nobody who's got a better decision-making process for you than you. Not your partner, not your spouse, not your mum, not your dad, not your best mate or your friends, not your work colleagues, not your mentor, nobody, but you. So this message goes out to my brothers out there, trust yourself. Cultivate the trust within yourself that you do know best. I'm not talking from an egotistical point of view where you don't listen to anybody else or see anybody's perspective, but more from the point of view of, hey, I'm gonna take that on board. I'm gonna take the thoughts, feelings, emotions of those nearest and dearest to me on board. But end of the day, I know best, and your intuition and gut knows best. There's more and more research coming out that shows that our gut has more nerve endings than our brain. It's crazy. So why wouldn't you trust your gut more? We have this inner compass, this inner guide called our intuition. Women, men, all of us. And we all know when the right thing is to do, what the right thing is to do or what we should do in this situation. Yet, so often, we listened, we listened to our fears, we listened to the other people in our lives, thinking that they know best for us. When deep down, if we're being true and honest, and we're showing that fucking courage that I know you have, that you know best. It may take you a little while to come up with those great decisions, but you do know best. Just like then, all, the, all those years ago, when I was 89 years old and I shoplifted, I knew what was best then. I knew that was the wrong thing to do. I still did it. Luckily, I learned the lesson. Luckily, the shop owner didn't get me and send me down to the police station, but I knew what was best. I knew within my gut and my heart what was best, and so do you. So that's my message to you strong, courageous men out there. You know what's best. Trust yourself more and more and more on the little things which develop into the big things, and you're gonna grow high levels of confidence, you're gonna feel more motivated, you're gonna have high levels of clarity, courage in your life, and you're gonna feel like you're progressing day in, day out, and that's the game. So I hope this message is served. Let me jump on and, and see who's, uh, hey Nat, thanks for jumping on. Hey Georgian, nice to see you. Thanks for your support, guys. Much gratitude wherever you're watching from. I appreciate you, and until next time, it's your time to step into your strength and be the best man you can be.